it rained here some for the last day or so the water's up it's it's up a couple couple inches no big deal it's beautiful it has to rain I'm 15 feet above that I'm pretty safe up here no matter how hard it rains I could rain its face off for a while and I'm I'm still I'm still fine I'm short I didn't turn around for any particular reason. Hear that? That's what it sounds like when I'm not talking out here. <laughs> um. I'm the only one talking in the media area, and I'm trying not to fall off this, off this ledge. Not right there. I'm walking along that without looking, curiously, interestingly. As I am a representative of the precariat class, I walk precariously along this ledge in this mountain where I live right now, for today. Tomorrow, it could be somewhere else. I have a car. I could go somewhere else. Like, it doesn't matter. It's a luxury a lot of people don't have, so I'm not bragging, I'm just saying it's a pretty great place to be. It was a pretty fortunate occurrence when it happened. It, I, I started this journey with a car, it got, that car got repossessed along the way, it did. That was fun. That was in Vegas. They found me pretty quick when I checked into this joint. Came and got it. And it, took, it, took, it took some time, some time to put together another car, but now I have it. I can go somewhere else I can. She's a good car. Her name's Cherry, I think I told you. But a lot of people don't even have that. And so I'm really still blown away that I even have it because I went from walking around with a broken collarbone and five broken ribs after a bike accident with a backpack, maybe even two backpacks on, to having a car. And not having to carry any backpacks at all, unless I'm down a trail to my tent from the car, which is just amazing, okay? I, I hope you get the perspective of what that is. So that's what I'm, that's where I'm at now. I'm still coming out of a, a gratitude period where I'm just still really blown away and thankful that I was able to get the car from manage the car and have the car, drive the car, keep the car, look at the car, sit in the car, smell the car, drive the car. Did I say drive the car? It's not, I'm not the car. I get that. The car is, is, is barely even extension of me because I look nothing like it. In fact, I can't stand the fucking rims that whoever the guy out before me had on the car because they, they suck. Okay. The fucking 18s. I want some stock rims, I do. I want to spend money to have stock rims for the fucking car. I am. I will. I will. I'm not complaining. Except that I'm complaining. I don't want to spend money on that at this point. I just spent 160 bucks or something on the alternator. Which could have been a lot worse. It could have been a lot worse. It could have been. So much worse. But it wasn't. Okay. I tell people all the time, don't worry about stuff. And I didn't. I didn't worry. I just I took my stranding well. I was stranded. I was stranded up here for four day four nights into five days. Four nights into five days until the car got fixed. How long? That's not terrible. People have been stranded far worse than that. And I had planned on coming up here to stay for a while. Anyway, I noticed I'm still here a couple of days later. I am. And I'm still here. And don't plan on leaving even if it rains more. It doesn't matter. I have accommodations. It's okay.
Here I am, though. Thank you.